Okay, we're going to be recording. Does it say recording on your screen? Yep, recording has started. Um, this is uh, the Land Use Committee meeting on April 11th, 2023. My name is Ann Mazar, and I'm the representative from the, no, I, well, I'm on the Community Preservation Committee. I'm the chair of this committee, and we'll go around and introduce ourselves. Um, Carolyn? I'm Carolyn Barthel. I'm a member of the Land Use Committee. Um, Elena? Hi, I'm Elena Brugos, and I'm on the select board. Frank? Uh, Frank Nero, um, Land Use Committee member. Uh, Tisha, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, yes. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, good. I'm Tisha Lowe, 23 Inman Hill Road, Menden, and um, one of the land stewards. Yep. And Becky? Gallagher. Actually, why don't you move that microphone over so that you can... <laughs> <laughs> You can have a gavel too if you want it. <laughs> uh, Becky Callagher, I'm president of Bay State Trail Riders Association. We're an equestrian organization. All right. So, um, did everyone have a chance to meet, read the minutes? Yes. I did not. Yeah. Sure. Just the members have to vote on it. So, yep. okay. But you're welcome to read them. <laughs> They're riveting, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elaine, are you? Did you get a chance to look at them? Or yes, I did. Okay. Someone want to make a motion? I can make a motion that we approve minutes from the last meeting. Second. Second. All right. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So. Why don't we um, go to the next agenda item, which is discuss a trail around the fields at Inman Hill. And Inman Hill is at the top of Inman Hill Road and Peter Hawks hays the fields. So it's these beautiful open hay fields and then it has forest around it. And we have some trails that go through the forest. Um, and Becky Callagher from the Bay State Trail Riders Association is interested in cutting some trails around the field. And I can put, I can share my screen and put up the map up. And Becky, do you want to talk about it a little bit? I can do that. Uh, this is what happens when you start perusing and looking at maps and think huh, possibilities here. So this is putting possibilities and thoughts into actual um, progress. So I had I had a walk with the Menden Land Use Committee and Frank and Barry and to show them my idea. And we trudged around the edges of the fields and uh, cut through some of the places into the over, overgrown field and one other corner that was uh, overgrown with a possibility of doing the trails. Um, it was pretty successful. I had sent Anne the, um, the GPS map that we had walked. And then I did another map that I drew um, with in red. Uh, at this point right now, I'm thinking that the where we were walking along the edges of the field, that's pretty self-evident of where the trail would go. Um, the only areas I think that would have to be marked and have you guys check for approval would be... Um, that area to the left where the overgrown field, uh, when we walked it, we actually kind of ended up Where in. Like yeah, who's got the mouse? Do you have the mouse hand? <laughs> yeah, I do. Because I can see the left-hand corner and then the connection between the other two would be the only spot, right? right? Here. So. Yeah, that corner. That corner okay, right yeah. there. So when yeah. we actually yeah. walked that field, Trish yeah. brought us through kind of like the middle. Yeah. So I just drew it through here. This will again entail walking through here and trying to pick the best way through here okay um also the same thing with this corner over here the corner right here where, where you first, you and yeah. i went through the woods yeah not the corner so much but where it connects those two open fields is that a clear path yes okay so that's yeah there's a log there's right a tree there. down in yeah. there right now that came down across it but that is open but i think and, and correct me becky the idea is that 
all the trails would be either like right next to the field, not in the hay field. Correct. And or um, they might go like behind some nice pussy willows. Willow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Willow. We have to save the pussy willows. <laughs> but it, most of it is um, uh, multiflora rose. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I got to go up there again, but I think there's um, autumn olive, both of which are invasive, non-native. Around the edges or because it's not coming where he hays, right? Because that's should be kept. That's correct. We said right. that it's going to be, it'll be outside the hay. Right field. there. It looks almost like he goes right to the red line. So I, I haven't walked it, so I can't. If there's plenty of room, that's good. It's better that it be used, right, than come up growing up and stuff you don't want. That's um. And Barry walked it. I've also contacted Aaron and Peter Hawks and let them know about it. I haven't, they haven't responded. So I'll probably go over there and talk to them. But I think, I don't think they have a problem with it. That I think that's why they're not responding because it's going to be off the hay fields and on the side. To me, they are the key audience <laughs> or that they're the key stakeholder, if you yep. will. Are they? So it's. And why have you contacted? Peter Hawks and whoever else. He leases Aaron. for a cheap price the haying of the fields. Oh, okay. They, they get to use the hay? Yes. And it keeps, for the town, it keeps the fields open. Otherwise, it'd grow in. And actually, the first field we went in, like- He's been doing right that for here. like 20 years, 30 years. Uh, mm -hmm. We can get into some, at some point, it, it yeah. should be a public, uh, is it for life? But we don't need to go well, that. <laughs> it was bit. it was bit out. You know, there was an RFP. I'm sure it was. And, it, uh, and so that, I don't know, want to go. he's putting money into it. So that's, that's why we- That's right. That, and I'm, there, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities, but um, like this one field down here is we walked through. I'm trying to see. I think it was over here, maybe. Yeah, getting to this point. This used to be like an open field, and now it's it's all filling in. Maybe mm -hmm. this was it. Yeah. Um. Anyways, so so it's nice that they keep it open. Hmm? This is the this is the one that's overgrowing. Right okay. Now. Yeah. This this is the field that's overgrowing. Yeah. So yeah. it's really nice. He they get the hay. They bring it back to their cows. You know, it's nice fresh hay. And mm -hmm. then for the town, they keep we keep it open because that would be a big field for us to mow. Well, I'm a big one for mixed use, and that's what this site should be all about. I understand there are other uses that have things that don't want interference, so it's nice if they all three can uh, balance. Because mm -hmm. um, the town is still using the garage, right? That's kind of like a semi-official equipment storage and then we got the hay fields going and hopefully all the neighbors are they know where the boundaries are and it's all, yeah, all good right <laughs> what what happens to the one that's beginning to grow in it'll continue to grow in and if it's ugly stuff it won't grow in nice so but that takes effort to make it grow in nice so is it too late to to it's never too to late but it's always it's good a lot of energy and <laughs> chainsaws and it's uh, more than what a, a Boy Scout could do, perhaps. Yeah, it, and it, it might be something that we want to do at some point. But um, so, Frank, do, Frank was on the walk. Do you have any comments, Frank, about, you know, what you do or don't think should happen? Uh, no, I, I was glad to hear Becky say that the trail will be flagged for our final approval uh, once they, I mean, the, the map itself looks fine it's what we talked about uh, i would think that they're gonna go now go flag it and maybe we have a site visit just to make sure that it's inside or outside of the fields and um but no comments beyond that okay um yeah i think i wouldn't have to flag like around the edges of the fields because that was like very self-evident yep um, as long as there's plenty of room how how much room do you need for a trail is it four so, feet five say, feet six feet say say that wall was, was like a stone wall stone wall yeah what's happened over the years it has overgrown with brush so he's now like hanging out here so right because he, he can't turn his machine that so yeah and that's more than what you need six okay. feet or from yeah. 20 20 wide yeah, for a I horse think to walk through that was mentioned um like six feet wide was a a parameter mm -hmm. that somebody said while we were walking. Yeah. So. Um, so if like, I think that makes a good, that's a good idea, Frank. And uh, about Tisha, do you have anything to say? You were also on the walk. I, you know, whatever they feel they need for the horses, it's just going to be wonderful to see the land not overgrowing like it does on the edge of the fields. And to see it being used and enjoyed. So if they say four feet, six feet, 
um, otherwise it's just getting overgrown because the tractors can't get that close to the stone wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so maybe the next step should be um, for you to flag the areas that aren't clear, and then we can have another walk up there. Yep. And then you know. And what what exactly does the trail consist of? Because if it's grass, you're not going. You're going to cut if it's anything growing. But if it was grass, you would. I don't know. Grass would be fine. Right. Grass yes. would be out fine. Right now, where somebody did brush hog some of that brush that was growing there along yeah. the edge. But that doesn't make a trail, right? If it's spindly Correct. stuff, I wouldn't think Correct. horses so would want to walk on that. I'm not sure what would be the best way to remove the, the roots of the brush. I think that well, open be... that out. Yeah, that's a machine. That's think, a, yes. a serious machine work. Um, yeah, probably a big brush hog or a tractor for some of the areas that we walked. to. A little mini that. excavator anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something I would have to talk Rubber like, tired back don't mark. Mark's done some work for us, Mark Mnuchin. Well, I know, well, I guess. Or folks, anyone else. I'm just, we need to develop local resources. So yeah, I, it's. Peter Hawks and Aaron Hawks, they might be able to help too. Yep. You know? Yep. You have the equipment and you don't have to haul it. That should be. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. He has a backhoe. But you have a time factor or what's, you want this done? No, or is special, this long term? No, no this, is, this is as it flows. Because <laughs> this is not grant money, because it's not. You're not spending a whole lot of money developing the trail. It's more hours or equipment or um, there will be some some material. Some gonna have to pay somebody to get in there with a machine to that's yeah to clean, clean that up. Yeah. So um, until I start talking with somebody about estimates, because I've where the overgrown areas are, we can put some volunteer work in there to get in there by hand to get yeah. some of that stuff down, because uh, some of it's pretty darn thick. Well, and also the multiflora rose is, you know, yeah. so pricky and yep. different tools. That's, yeah, but yeah, well, good. So yeah, that will be just it's it's a it's a process we're working on. There's no deadline. It's just it was an idea and a thought, and seeing how we can work this out to the best to make. And there's still happy. plenty of parking, and uh, that that's not an issue right now. So. Yeah, yeah, it's nice parking. There's a gate up there, so like if there's an event. Well, the gate was put up there because people were driving in there during mud season Ugh. and there's ruts in the road and, and they, they cleared tough. Yeah. the field out for parking. And it, so the, the gate is shut. But if there's an event like the Bay State Trail Riders Association, they have a um, a, an event. Ride. Yep. Yeah. And so then it's open for that. And then they can go in the field, do the trailers. But yep. otherwise, the parking is really should be fine, you know. For And maybe it doesn't get a whole lot of use. I don't know. I would like think that it does, but I shouldn't think so, but who knows? Yeah. Well, since it's been getting a good amount of use lately, actually a lot of people with their dogs and hikers, and that's going to pick up with the Menden hike that's about to open. But yeah. also putting the gate closed at night has definitely deterred a lot of like, you know, partiers and out of state cars after hours. It's definitely helped a lot with that. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we also talked about blocking off that um, trail here in the corner of this field too. That was blocking it off yeah. because it goes on off somewhere, and we don't Lots want of, to. Um, oh yes. For private property. Yeah. 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 So we'd want to make sure that we're on the town property. Yeah. Which I think was actually yeah, that's old Inman Hill Road. I think that's the. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You know, well, that yeah. We could put logs there or whatever, and then. What part are you talking about? Um, in the I'm, corner of. I think it was like this corner. This field right here. Oh, was that field? Yeah. Okay, right there. I guess um, it went off the town property, but there's like the old Inman Hill Road, so it just kind of continues. Mm. And so for trails, just because that's private property, we'd have to you know mark it off so that people wouldn't go there and put a sign up like that's on your property that says, you know, please stop. Right. It's private property. You know. Yeah, that. the conservation yeah. sign. Yeah. This yeah. part here, right here. Yeah, that's just the 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 trail would sort of. I think it would go something like this. Is this right? Can you see my cursor? Yeah. Okay. And then around, and then go, and then out like that. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice. I mean, and the Bayside Trail Riders Association, they've been great working with the town. They got a grant, and they um, fixed the Quizzit trails, and then um, they funded two or three bridges in Meadowbrook Woods that 
go over the, the brooks. And so now the trails can all be connected and horses can go over the bridges. It's very nice. So they've been great partners. Nice. Nice. Excuse me for maybe this isn't on the agenda, but I think being on the CONCOM, we got a call from the state because they wanted to go and look at that. You know, we had the problems with the Quisset Hill. That was the state was saying there was. So I think they might want to do that annually. So I, well, that's I don't know state. if anyone in the CONCOM went, I but I think they year. went out there to, to look at it. But so we got the invitation. So so, so that, that other property, um, the um, Fish and Wildlife hold the conservation strict. So that's right. where they were involved. But it's not a bad idea to have conservation look at it. If they're on it. They're, 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 she was on it. So I don't know if anybody you might from the town was. I mean, maybe. I, I haven't heard anything, so I'm, I'm not looking for trouble. <laughs> but yes, the trails still get used, right? That was a, that was a good project. Then. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. It was an improvement, shall we say. Yes, it was. And I want to add that, yeah, I mean, someone had talked about blocking off trails. I think just signage or, or directional signage would be preferred than physically blocking a trail. Do you agree? Um, I, I think, yeah, I mean, I, I would agree unless there's motorized vehicles coming on. And then I would probably say it's better to block it mm -hmm. because they can really like rip up the hay fields, mm -hmm. um, you know. But Frank, I would agree with you, especially an old road. That to me is just a traditional right of way that even if it's across, I don't, I'm a believer in open space and I don't like signs. So unless it becomes a problem, not to still let somebody walk their dog. There's a yeah. reason why it's there. It's a logical path. Yeah. It's, I just, if it goes on someone's private property, then you know, it, it's just nice. You know, you don't want, you want to give the neighbors their privacy. So, but. Well, is there anyone who lives back there? I, no, right? Or it's a long, long ways or? Oh, yeah, there's there's houses um, because it's the back of Carpenter Hill or Butler. Oh, I'm sure. trying to think of Butler. Okay. And, yeah. and um, you know, you've got other houses around it. Tisha lives up there, you know, so. Well, you know, when you block it, the four wheelers find their way around it. <laughs> yeah, if there's so a will, you can block it, you can sign it. If they're going to honor it, they'll honor it. If they won't, they won't. But, you know, both might be necessary, but the signs are nice. Yeah. And the, when you block it, what I've discovered on the trails is the four wheelers just work around it, which takes down more foliage. But yeah, well, I think, too, when trails are used more, it's easier to discourage the motorized vehicles, you know, because report them yeah More they're not supposed to be on the you know, town properties and um so but and especially with horses yeah, people respect horses right all right i like to think yeah good use all right yeah no it's okay. exciting thank you Alrighty. right i think our step is to go flag, flag some options yeah yeah let us know if you're up there and you need help or anything you know and get up there it's really beautiful you know it's a nice area so it's Good excuse to be up, go up. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Or are we all good? I think we're good, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, thank you for coming. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Oh, so so the next thing is just one thing I'm going to mention. Um, well, I think I'm going to I'm going to jump to the um, Menden hike challenge, which is really coming along nicely. Um, Tisha has been involved with that, and um, Liz and Doug Weeks and Bill mm -hmm. Dykey and um, some other people helping out. It's been really great, and so we're almost ready to start it. Um, Dan Byers helped us put a web the website together. We've got patches. We're getting stickers. Oh, great. And the little sign is here. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Nice timing. Yeah. It's going to happen. But Bill, like he said, that somebody is like going to the Mentown Forest. It's also like with a machete and just like whacking trees, you know? And uh, somebody's clearing you know, small branches because yeah. they're in their way or no, just like more maliciously. Just like, kinda. just like kind of maliciously. So not really what to do i mean you could put a camera trap up to see who might be doing it but um it's a little frustrating my you know? first instinct it's a local neighborhood kid but 
if somebody drives a car and then takes out their machete, I, 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 that doesn't sound right to me. So, yeah, and it sounds it's like, like maybe a kid is doing I mean, it. That sounds like a kid thing, but I would say if anyone they don't drive cars, <laughs> so they're within walking distance or biking distance. Yeah, it's, it's in the Minotown Forest primarily that they're seeing it. So I, you know, if anybody has ideas, let me know if they see. Oh, the you person mean behind the ball fields, right there in the, hmm? right behind the ball fields? You say, oh no, the Town Forest on Mill in Millville. Millville Road. Millville Road, and okay. then you can also get on it on Asylum Street. Yeah. But um, so, anyways. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, it, it the leaves aren't out yet, so it it might look more hacked at, you know, with a machete than it might after the leaves come out. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, it's just it's, like kind of aimless, though. It's not like they're oh. trying to do anything. It's just they're kind of, you know. It's sort of upsetting for people that see it, anyways. You know, oh. so has it happened there. more than once, or have you yeah, it's cleaned it up spot. or something? It's in different different areas. spots. Yeah. Oh, it's it's not all. It, it's not a continuous uh, line of damage. I don't think so. You could only call to the attention of the cops. Yeah. They yeah. might. Yeah, I can mention that to Bill. They might know the neighborhood. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Get to know the neighborhood. Um, so anyways, I wanted to mention that, but the, but the height challenge, I think we'll be able to start it like in the next couple of weeks. And so we'll see, hopefully people will participate, but, uh, you know, the trails are nice. So it'll be a nice way to get people out on the trails, hopefully. And how are we going to let people know about this? Well, um, social media. It'll be on the web. It's beyond the media, social media on the web. Okay. And then, um, I'll try to get like, write an article for the free press newspaper, mm -hmm. um, Myrtle. Work well, on. well, good question, though. I mean, arguably, Dan Byer's done a lot of work on it, and it's the town's trails. And I'm not sure this committee, thank you for all the work that you've done, want to take over the maintenance there. It sounds to me like it's a recreational kind of community development thing, which is parks and recs. Yeah, we're working with Dan. We're all, so we're all so it would be on their website or something yeah, yes. that so on, on the town website, there should be there this program. So that's mm -hmm. there is. But just getting the word out that that's where we're going to yeah. start and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. But any suggestions, you know. And is this for Menden residents only or is it open to the general public? It's open to the general public. OK, yeah. but I mean, especially we want to get Menden people out and, you know, and it would be a fun thing to do with kids you know, like a challenge to try to get the different trails and a good excuse to get outside and off of. And it's know, all about public shooter. health. No, it's all about public health, community health. Yeah, getting yeah. kids out behind the screen. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been fun. People are really enthused about it. So I didn't really want to get it's involved fun. with it, but they need <laughs> someone to organize kind of. But I mean, they, so many people put a lot of time in and it's, it's. Um, I think it's going to be good. That's great. Yeah. And then we have some sort of informational page, whether it be, you know, standards of conduct, rules of regulation, something like that to let people know that there are limitations or at least here's what we'd ask you to do or respect and so forth. Do we have something that we've put together that might help educate people about the hype challenge? We do. And um, I'm gonna, I'll send you the website so you can check it out and read the materials. Okay. Um, and, you know, I mean, we ask people to stay on the trails. Um, one of the trails goes by Imman Pond, you know, and we say there's no swimming in Imman Pond. It's, it's mucky. It's got water snakes. It's, you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> just cool. enjoy the beauty of it. The great blue herons that might be on it. Um, so watch out for ticks and mosquitoes, hunting season, try to walk on Sundays, mm -hmm. you know, with a link. But I'll send it to you and then you can, you know, if there's if you have suggestions. No, yeah, no, I think no. in over time we're going to probably need to add to that or, um, you know, so I think it's a good start. Yeah, um, I I also put on there the Land Use Committee website um, saying or email saying if you have suggestions or there's a problem with the trail, let us know, you know, so. Well, one minute, weren't you going to give something out? It's like badges or something? Oh, badges, yes. Badges. So yeah. now the pedantic question is, how does that get distributed? Right. And who has them and who right. gives them out? The well, there you go. That you want people calling you and emailing you and you're going to mail out the no, badges? And um, Doug Weeks have volunteered to, you know, 
take the applications and review them and then mail them out. And so we have a kind of a system that, yep. And then so th there's some minor expenses, I guess is where I'm going to. Besides the labor, <laughs> you're going to mailing and the cost of the patches. And this is going to be a great thing. And we had money to start it. Yep. But that's it's really who owns this and who's going to maintain it. And I'm all for it, but it really shouldn't be this committed. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's land use. It is. It's land use. And, and or there should be a trails association. And there kind of is with Bill Dakey, right? There's like community regional a a AMC kind of people people organization so yeah. i don't know yeah it's like um i mean like we have the land stewards for all the properties and then people could them. donate and we don't want to go there but catch it so i don't know it's, really it's just volunteer time and um the expenses were very minimal i mean with, well that's and yeah. actually i'm going to ask for i'm sure town me would approve 100 bucks it's just who it goes to and so if parks are wrecked that that to me is the logical entity yeah. to well, land use committee has um, we bought the patches and the stickers, and then um, uh, the the parks has been. They're going to do the postage, and so it's just kind of a joint thing. It's like really not big money. I mean, it isn't, know. but I guess I see it as a pile thing that's successful, and so everyone wants to claim credit for it, and that's a good thing. But in order to be self sustaining and easily organized, it shouldn't depend on. I think it should be built into the parks and rec, and and so, but yeah, I mean, I. I that's why it is. I mean, they're like the main uh, body that's handling the applications. I mean, they're going to have Liz and send it to Liz and Doug. But yes, they're the organization that, you know, we have a Parks and Rec director, Dan Beyer. And so, um, but there's a lot of people helping out. And with something like this, you also get more volunteers mm -hmm. and help. For sure. No, it's a good thing. But excuse me, one other kind of related question, because like the old camp site, who would be formally responsible for requests to use that was it the selectman or you know it's... eventually it'd be parks and rec but we really need someone to take that on and no one has done that so mm -hmm. it's you need to have um a person that's going to organize it and lead it you know so yeah. um we just don't have anybody right now who, who um but that's the sort of thing a, a boy mean? scout or girl scout who could adopt that site right and then then you'd have some year to year continuity and they would report to someone so i, I don't know it's just yeah weird. i mean and and the dan buyer would be the logical person because he's parks and rec but still like it takes a lot it takes some effort to make that connection and 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 no one has done that um well there hasn't been that much demand right because it's not available so it's only the boy scouts who requested right yeah. and they would do work to so it's yeah yeah boy scouts are good, good i mean at some point it'd be good to maybe reach out to the Boy Scouts, but um, so uh, what do the patches look like? I'll show you. <laughs> um, I don't. I know I showed it another one, but okay. that. Oh, that's pretty. See, I don't. I like it. Very yeah, colorful. You can't see it on there. I can show you sort of the logo though. But anyways, that's very pretty. Um. But well, we agreed on the logo, right? You sent it around and you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's on the website. You can see it, but it's like. Very pretty. Yeah. So it's just, it's like a simple thing that people can get. But, you know, if you're like, I know my kids when they were little or even people that hike a lot, I guess they like patches and they put them on bags or they iron them on or something or they could iron them on. Oh. And then, um, you know, the stickers, because Ellen, the town clerk said, oh, I'd like to do it, but I wouldn't use a patch. How about a sticker? And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So we have stickers for, you know, for some people. Anyways, so. That's great. For, we, then we're, as we were talking, we were saying that, you know, some people are going to hike, you know, just, you know, they're on a trail and they're going to be like, what are all these men in hike challenge, challenge signs? Like, what is this? So at the beginning of the trails, um, Bill Dyke made these like little signs and on them we're going to put a QR code so that they can go to the website and find out what the Menden Hike Challenge is. And so oh, great. we need $22.80 and I would like to vote on that. <laughs> <laughs> Big money. I'll move that we approve uh, funding necessary to purchase QR codes Stick. not to exceed not to exceed 30 bucks. I'll second it. Okay. Um, any discussion? I think this is too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
No. All right. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. But it, I, I mean, this. But what's been really fun about this project is people are really enthused about it, and like Tisha's, you know, been helpful and enthusiastic. So That's you great. know, yeah. Right. Uh, I say discuss warrant articles, and we voted on most of them last time. But the one thing that we didn't vote on, but we discussed in executive session, but we don't need to talk about it in executive session anymore, is the paddock property purchase. And so I thought that it would be the what property? The paddock property. It's okay. 60 acres. It's got the house mm -hmm. and the barn. And so mm -hmm. it could be used for um, affordable, to affordable housing units mm -hmm. and then open space. And it abuts town property. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a field that could possibly be a sports field. So it actually fits every category of CPA, the historical preservation, because the wow. barn's like 100 years old, affordable housing, open space, and recreation. Where's the oh, field? Uh, Across the street? No, it's like- if Same you, side? If you go down the- they have like a cart path through the property. Okay, in the back. And um, actually abutting where the 8 Morrison Drive is, there's like sort of an open field. Okay. Could be a sports field, could be left for open space, but you know- Total of how many acres, the whole? 60. 60. Yeah, right. and so it was appraised at. We had an appraise. Uh, the community preservation committee used money to appraise it, and it came out for one million one hundred and ten thousand um, dollars. The house and the sick, the whole enchilada. Yes, and sounds cheap to me, but that's okay. Yeah, and well, and then we're, the town made an offer for nine hundred ninety thousand dollars, and the paddocks, um, you know, wanted Except to move it. forward with us. And Good. so, you know, there's a lot of advantages because um, they don't have to use a realtor. There's they don't pay back taxes. Um, it it can happen faster. You know, they, it, it wasn't under 61A, was it? Oh, it was. OK, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. They would have to, you know, get a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to the town. No, and they wanted it to, for the town, right? I, I, I feel they, comfortable they, saying for both uh, Rita and her husband. Yeah, they, they, so I would so like to make a vote. In favor of this, so at town meeting floor, we can say the land use committee supports this purchase. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so would somebody like to make that motion? I mean, I it's it it would be like to vote for the nine hundred ninety thousand dollars to purchase um, the paddock property located at seventy three Providence Street in Menden, book a page number seventy five Providence Street, book and page number. Um, well, I'll make the motion to heartily support the acquisition yeah. using okay. CPA fundings. No, we don't need to justify with any reasons, hopefully, but at town, at on the floor, we can speak to it, right? But um, so I need discussion on that. What I, would you take it out of? All out of affordable housing, half and half for open space. What's the uh, intent? Just I'm carve sure. off five acres or not, just to make okay, those sure. decisions? Well, the Community Preservation Committee, this committee, um, th that doesn't have to be worked out before town meeting, you know? No, um, but it should be, well, we should go into it being able to say what we think is the best use. For, or we have a plan to, to yeah. figure that out and if it's clear and transparent yeah. as to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the building inspector will all come and check everything out, the buildings. Um, you know, most likely it would be like, uh, like five acres would be carved off would it for the affordable housing. If we were going to have two units, we'd have to do something like with a, um, sort of like a mini 40 B, um, like a friendly 40 B and there's a, why? Well, because you don't have frontage. It, that barn and the house are kind of close together. So it wouldn't meet the, um, you know, no. You put the line right down the middle. You could. Uh, well, maybe you could. Uh, anyways, there's just there's details. It's the to work out. that would bother me. I don't know if that's is that good soil there. Might I should. Well, that's the thing. I mean, that takes time. Yeah, you does. know what I mean. And so you can't make all those decisions True. in one. So, but I mean, it's got beautiful open space. It it abuts it, other open space the town owns. It abuts town land that the town owns that has a a, a shell of a building on it that could be used for like the recreation department. It could be used for um. Sports fields. Um, is there any other good access to the ball fields in the back besides the driveway going up through that? Because I'm just saying, okay, we're we're saying there's three different uses here that they should be compatible sure. for, but uh, I don't know if it's limited frontage or it's a tight site, or I, I haven't really frontage. looked at it. It's got enough frontage. Um, it would have access from Providence Road. There would be access from Morrison Drive, you know, which is great. Because there's also a vote that we made last time. B 
because there's three acres on Morrison Drive that we cut out that we want to go with the conservation restriction that would go on the Applewood open space, the paddock property. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, Is the house old enough to be historic? I mean, you'd have a fiber. Five. I, no, mean, it's how old is it? Sixties. Um, but the barn is the old. Barn though. is old. The barn is old, though. Yeah, it was built on the foundation of an old home. Huh. Um, okay. But uh, the, the, a foundation is still there, but that's not that the barn sits on. That's separate from the house and and the barn. Yeah. Well, when the house was built, I guess apparently there was an old house there, and then they rebuilt a new one, and I on the same. Okay. Same area. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. barn though is old and it's cool. It's got big boulders in the bottom and yeah. you know for the foundation and beams. But you, if you like um, put a historical preservation restriction on the facade because it's a very um, it's a highly common. visible corner there. Exactly. You just said you know Providence Road. Exactly. Bumble used to be an intersection. So then you could you know fix up the barn, which wouldn't take that much. But then you could gut the inside and have it be a nice affordable you know home. Yeah, so so that'll come to town meeting this spring. Yes, in a month. In a month, less than a month. <laughs> oh, um, good. So any we don't have any other purchases coming, right? And we got money in the kitty, or we're not. Yeah. Good. Yeah, the the CPA funds are. Well, that's why I'm just concerned. Is it even balanced, or we've used all the open space, and this would be the opportunity? How have we tapped affordable housing? Uh, well, we're working so. on that. I mean, there's there's an RFP that'll be due next week to um, do affordable housing. And but. you're saying we don't have to decide now, but I'm suggesting within a year we have to decide. Within where's that money <laughs> going to come out of? Which account, right? Well, we we've used all of the the affordable housing historical open space account, really? and the affordable house that ha housing that has the most money in it. So. Yeah. If we needed to renovate the house or something like that, we do have money in that account. So I guess that's why I'm I'm pushing to try to put it out of that account then because well yeah we can make that decision. That, that committee the meeting will have to make that decision. So yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Any other questions or discussion? Right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, and at town meeting, I'll have like a map and pictures and, you know, explain everything, um, you know, and answer questions. No, people should be psyched. That's Yeah, a, it's a, a great property. It's, yeah. When, it really is, is. when is town meeting? May 5th. Six, May 5th. Is that Saturday or something? Or? It's a Friday. Friday night. It's Friday. Yeah. Okay. I think it's May 5th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, the only thing I keep putting on here, the, the Land Use Committee Open Space and Recreation Goals, but um, I don't have it together yet. So I'll just push it to a next meeting. So the Land Use, the um, Open Space and Recreation Plan, Dan and I are f working on it with CMRPC. And we plan to get it done this spring or summer. So I will pass by pages and the goals and whatnot when we get there. Does anybody have anything? Nope. Oh, I guess the one thing I'll mention is, is there is a town cleanup um, from April 15th to April 30th, and you can pick up the bags um, at Custom Home Realty, which is sort of in Hood Plaza. And just, you know, if you see it on Facebook, the poster, please pass it around and encourage people to participate. It's a great way of doing it. Are we doing it jointly with Upton? Because hopefully yeah. each town could, it's, you know, it should be replicable. Yeah, we kind of do it together and we advertise it together. We have like one poster and then the websites on the Men in Town website, but then the Upton people go off to their okay. thing on the website. And you have different distribution sites. That's the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. So Lynn Haggerty in Upton is coordinating it there and I'm coordinating it here with a whole bunch of other people that are helping like um the Lions Club. Oh yeah, it know. looks like everyone's on. That's that's yeah. good. See, well, yeah. Cuz it used to be put on by the Concom. <laughs> 
and then arguably should be put on by the board of health and now okay what's this group it, it was a need yeah. right so it's a yeah, southwick they do the poster so it, you know it, lions kind of made yeah yeah that's great so now it's it's by the board of health not by the it's by okay. volunteers like i this year coordinated it you know okay. and lynn coordinated and the it there. dpw collects the garbage that's that's the main thing yes, right they it out. <laughs> so, yep. and who provides the bags because um, there's a cost for those Greenberg did, and so he's his insignia is on the poster. He bought them. A lawyer is that? No, he's um, he had a landscaping company. Okay. Yep. He's nice. on the board of health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Oh, I like that. Good. Yep. So, All right. All right. Anything else? Does anybody have? I don't think so. No. All right. Let me. I. <clears throat> let me ask you this question about the pickup um trash thing um are there areas that are being highlighted that we want to make sure that get covered or are people the streets are there certain just areas all the streets are there all the streets Pick. you go to the website you your the street, and so if you see something that's driving you crazy <laughs> that street and, you know yeah. okay and you don't have to worry about is it safe or not you're letting people choose their own and they do it their own time it's it just makes it so much easier yeah i mean covid like this is one of those good things that came out of covid that yeah. you know we did it over a time period because we couldn't have an event where people pick the bags up and it's so much better because the two times before that it, it rained. rain cold right. yeah no. so so this works out better <laughs> yeah and do you know what that electric pole work is that's being done up by Founders Park? I was just curious. Yeah. Uh, there's at a lot the of work. at the intersection, like yes. maybe it's new new stoplights. DOT, I'm sure, is upgrading, is, right? Is or, that a state project? There's a plan to redo 16, but it hasn't really started yet. Yeah, I think that's that's oh. gonna be a few years out, I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, the lights, like were, the lights got to keep going. <laughs> yeah, they were up on that pole. Um, looked like a few trucks, a couple of trucks. Uh, this morning when I drove by and I was curious whether they're replacing poles or upgrading them or I just was curious what was going on. I don't know. Okay. Is, is anything being proposed in that corner? Because that would uh, involve, that's a private Somebody owns that corner privately, right? Yeah, it was actually the corner of Founders Park. Um, oh, in Founders Park. Okay. Yeah. So I was curious about that. Yeah. I'm also curious about what's happened to those trees on in Founders Park that we voted on last time. Yeah, um, the sycamore trees. Um, I'm working with Kathy Schofield and um, Bartlett. Um, the tree warden's going to take some money out of his budget and you know, we put money towards it. And so we're working with Bartlett Tree Service to try to, you know, get it going. So it's in process. So it's in process. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's happened yet. Okay. But it's, uh, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. There, there are a lot of trees getting cut down. Have you guys noticed that? Mass Electric is yeah. out doing their thing. National Grid. Yeah. Well, it's the town and Mass Electric. It's, it's like huge trees. So many of them. And I know some of them. What's are that? Tunk, 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 tunk. Yeah. Yes. But, there are a whole bunch of trees down by Southwick that got pulled by the oh, times I know that uh, National Grid did. Yeah, I I that I was talking with the tree ward and just saying like uh, how many more trees you know blah, are you going to be coming down more are, but you know he said we need to have a pruning program. I said yes, I mean because if you prune these big trees, then you know they don't necessarily have to come down, you know, mm -hmm. and get the dead wood off. Mm -hmm. It's uh. Mm -hmm. So, no, but didn't they get sued for not uh, maintaining the right of it? Like, a, it's a touchy subject. And, um, they, yeah, uh, I mean, the safety and all that. Sit, so, yeah. Yeah. It's just sad. Yeah. You know, see so yeah. many come down. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to my mother in law, and she said there are a whole bunch of trees over by, you know, she lives right on Chapin Street. And they worked very hard to push back against what National Grid was Isn't wanting to true? do. And we didn't do that. I don't, it, at least it looked like we didn't do that. And there were a whole bunch of trees that came down all along. Um, what is that part? I South guess Lake Southwick Street. Street, Southwick yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. It's hard to keep 
an eye on everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Um, someone want to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Uh, third. Oh, Say aye, aye. All those in favor? <laughs> aye, aye. 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 All right. Bye. So, Good night. See you in May, I guess. Yes. After see you at town meeting. Town yeah. meeting. Right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I've been in town meeting for a while. Um, Barry Ayadarola? Oh, not Barry. Here it is. Barry. Recording. Why? Hi. Um, Didn't know you were there. Yeah, we just. We,